Hey guys, this is Sam, and today we're taking a look at Multiplexer, which is the most in-depth multitasking tweak that I've ever used. So at its core, Multiplexer is made up of six different tweaks. The first one lets you run apps in the background, the second enables windowed multitasking, the third allows you to manage multiple desktops, the fourth allows you to run an application inside of Notification Center, the fifth allows you to use an app inside of Reachability, and the sixth, called Swipe Over, allows you to use an app by sliding from the right to the left side of your screen. So we're going to be talking about each and every one of these right now. Let's head over to Settings and tap on Multiplexer. We're going to start with Aura, which allows you to let apps run in the background. Basically, Aura is a backgrounder. Like I said, it's going to allow you to either suspend apps on close or keep them in native backgrounding, allow unlimited backgrounding time, force them to run in the foreground, or kill the app entirely when you close it. However, as you can tell, I am struggling to explain this part of the tweak because I'm not an expert on backgrounding tweaks. If you want a very good explanation of what a backgrounding tweak is, how it works, and why you would want to use one, head over to the link down below in the description. It will take you to a post over on the Reddit jailbreak, so somebody does a really good job at explaining all the questions that you would probably have about a backgrounder. This Aura part of Multiplexer is massive. You have so many options, and I don't want to go trying to explain them because personally, I'm just kind of confused about a backgrounder. You can set per app options though, which I know is a huge deal. So if I just want, for example, YouTube to run in the background, just head over to per app and scroll down until you see YouTube, tap on that and under background mode, you wanna make sure it's highlighted the forced foreground option. That will make sure that it is playing in the background no matter what you're doing on your device. However, be warned because when you have an application fully functioning and running while you're doing other things on your device, it is going to cause your battery to drain very quickly. So be careful when you're messing around with the backgrounding settings. If you have forced foreground for every application on your device, that means that literally every application that you have open will be fully functioning still and running 100% in the background, meaning that your battery would drain very quickly as the CPU usage would skyrocket. So that was a look at Aura, which allows you to run applications in the background. The next part of Multiplexer is Empoleon, or at least I believe that's how you're going to pronounce it. This one is pretty darn awesome because you can swipe from the bottom left hand corner in any app that you're using and minimize it in a window just like that. I am actually dragging this window around the screen now. I can swipe from left to right on my home screen, maybe even launch up a different app. That window, no matter what, will still be on top of whatever I'm doing. As for Empoleon's options, we've once again got quite a few. I just wanted to highlight a couple. If you want to change the swipe up from bottom gesture to maybe be in the middle of the right instead of the very left, like default, you have the option to change that. And at the very bottom, you have an interesting option titled Launch Into Window. This is going to make any application that you open on your iOS device open in a window rather than the full screen version of the app that you would do on vanilla or stock iOS. It's interesting to say the least, I don't know how viable or useful it would be because the more apps you launch, your device is going to start heating up. You just want to make sure to not do anything too crazy with this tweak because then your battery is going to start draining like crazy. It'll be fine if you just run one or two apps at the same time, but just a word of caution there. Of course, you can tap the X in the top left hand corner of all these apps to close them. I don't think personally I would enjoy using that launch into window option, but if you want to, it's kind of fun to mess around with and it's there if you'd like to use it. That is Empoleon. Once again, there's tons of options. It would take me 30 minutes to explain this tweak and every single option in it. This is more of a brief overview of everything that Multiplexer can do. The next section of Multiplexer titled Mission Control works in conjunction with the windowed multitasking or Empoleon feature. So just for example, I'm going to launch up a few applications and make them into small little windows or manageable windows as you can see on screen right now. Go into the application switcher, swipe down for mission control, and right here you're going to see at the very top you have your desktops option, applications running in windows on that particular desktop, and applications running elsewhere. So if we tap to add another desktop, I'm going to drag the app store up to that one, as well as dragging the Apple Watch app up to that one. I can now navigate to that second desktop and swipe out of the multitasking switcher. And there we go. I've got the Apple Watch application as well as the App Store 
running on a completely different desktop. I can also go back in there, maybe close some applications, swipe them to move them to another desktop. This is the only part of the tweak where I noticed things to get a little bit crazy as and they started lagging, which is understandable because not only are you running these applications at the same time in one place, you're, run, you're running windowed versions of these full-size applications across multiple desktops in different areas on your iPhone, it's going to get laggy. There's nothing we can do about that with the current generation iPhone only containing one gigabyte of RAM. And at the bottom of your screen right here, you also have apps that are running elsewhere. If you wanna close some of these, you can just tap and hold on them and drag them to the very nice trash can icon down below. As for Mission Control's preference panel, there's really only one option that I wanna highlight, and that is the Replace App Switcher toggle. Now, if you double click on the Home button, it's not gonna bring up the normal app switcher, it's going to enable Mission Control, so if you really like this feature, then you'll probably wanna have Replace App Switcher turned on. Next up is Quick Access, and yes, the features just keep on coming with Multiplexer. By far, this is my favorite feature because although it's extremely simple, Quick Access allows you to run a full-size application directly from Notification Center. And from my experience using it, it is so, so awesome. To enable the application that you'd like to see, head over to the Quick Access Preference panel, tap on Selected App, I just did the App Store for the purpose of this video, swipe over from Notifications, and voila! You are running a fully functional, fully customizable, and fully usable application. Yes, you can even pull up a nearly full-size keyboard, which actually seems to be the keyboard size of like a four inch iPhone, like the iPhone 5 or the iPhone 5S. Needless to say, the app works extremely well. And like I said, this is my favorite feature in all of Multiplexer. Quick access is just awesome. Moving on to the fifth feature bundled inside of Multiplexer, we have Reach App, and that will probably sound familiar if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while. Because the same developers of Multiplexer actually released a beta version of Reach App, I think four or five months ago, maybe back in February, March sometime, and we just assumed, me being the jailbreak community, that it would come out in a few months just as a normal free tweak. But that has actually been bundled straight into Multiplexer. Of course, Reach App allows you to run two apps, not really like side by side on the left and right side of the screen, but one app on the top and one app on the bottom. Once again, we can launch up the App Store and run that on the top of our screen while we still have a fully functioning settings app on the bottom. There's only one feature in the preference panel that I want to highlight for Reach App, and that is the option to show the notification center instead of an app. Now when you have that toggle enabled and enable reachability, look at that. You have a fully functioning notification center inside of reachability. And what's funny is you can actually use the quick access feature and get a super minimized version of whatever app you have selected while using reach app at the same time. It's so cool how all of these tweaks or all of these features work flawlessly together inside of multiplexer. And finally, the sixth and final feature inside of multiplexer is titled Swipe Over. Now this one reminds me of Reach App in the sense that instead of being able to run an app on the top and bottom of your screen, Swipe Over allows you to run two apps at the same time with one being on the left and right of your screen. You can enable Swipe Over by swiping from anywhere by default on the right hand side of your screen and from there you're going to get a window that looks something like this. Now if you want to make it go full screen or rather go into a windowed version, Tap on that little box and arrow icon at the very top. However, if you want to do a slide over side by side application, like where there's one on the left and one on the right, tap right over there or anywhere that it's a faded grayish area and voila, it's going to pop into two apps side by side. The only problem here is that at least on smaller screen devices like the iPhone 6 and below, you've got quite a bit of limited screen real estate, so you'll have to think about that when using Swipe Over. But other than that, I love the design of Multiplexer entirely. Between Aura, Empoleon, Mission Control, Quick, Quick Access, Reach App, and Swipe Over, you are getting a ton for $3.99, which is going to be the price for Multiplexer when it's available on the Big Boss repo in the near future. Unfortunately, we don't have an exact release date just yet, but follow me on Twitter at iUpdateOS as I will keep you guys posted with all things related to Multiplexer. If you enjoyed watching this video, feel free to drop a like down below and of course subscribe for more jailbreak tweaks like this. This has been Sam with iUpdateOS. Hope you guys have a great day 
and I will talk to you in my next video.